from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is APTV. Welcome to APTV, episode 489 for Thursday, May 4th, 2023. This week we have banter, of course, news updates, a pen show on the horizon, a new price for line friends, a spotlight on appetite, some love for Pin and Farina, a contest winner, a new contest, plus new Mayora colors, a Penlux peacock that are coming soon. Hey, Lisa. Oh, I was hoping you didn't have one. Do you know? You know, this is, this is dairy country. We have lots of cows, things like that. <laughs> uh, cheese products. Do you know why milking stools only have three legs? That's what stools have. Because the cow's got the udder. <laughs> Jeez. Help me, people. Help me. <laughs> he made Justin laugh, though. That's hard to do. All right. So today's location bumper. Um, I went into this place for the very first time just the other week. Uh, the Free Market. This was established in 2003. And the Free Market sells local, organic, allergen-free food. They carry produce and products from many of the local farms and businesses here in the Appleton area. It is only a three-minute walk from our new Anderson Penn's store location. Um, I went to check it out because I wanted to see... um, I've been trying to go to a lot of the stores that are within walking distance of the new store to see what is available. So we can, if we forget lunch, we can get a pre-made lunch... Or pick up. And, and what do they have there? Uh, they have. Um, you were there. I didn't get to go. So. Yes. Um, I did take a couple pictures. They have a lot of organic or special diet foods. And so for like people. bulk foods? They did have some bulk food, okay. but not the granola you not like. Granola. Sorry. Okay. Um, they also had uh, a lot of like gluten free and um, specialty kind of products, but they did have like some pre made soups and kind of a grab and go mm. thing. Okay. Um, a lot of the uh, harder to find, um, like shampoos and things that use um, fewer—I don't know what the term is—bad things. So fewer like sulfate-free and and um, fewer bad thing shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. Justin, just cut that out. <laughs> Brian mocking me. Um, no, it's it's really an interesting store. Um, I wasn't sure if it was going to be more like a Whole Foods or a Trader Joe's, but it it's definitely caters um, it more toward the uh, the specialty diet. A lot okay. of organic Great. things, but there was some cool stuff. And they have beer there. They do have, they have some beer. some interesting beer, it looks they like. They do, yes. So. Um, yeah, so it looks good. Excellent. What else do you have? Uh, today, Thursday, May 4th, of course, is Star Wars Day. Woo! Uh, May the 4th be with you. <laughs> nice. You will buy a pen. You will think you're funny. (laughs) (laughs) And tomorrow, Friday, May 5th, is Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo celebrates the anniversary of Mexico's victory over the French at the Battle of Puebla in uh, 1862. This is not to be confused with Mexico's actual Independence Day, which is September 16th. And um, on a personal note, it's also our friend um, Mercedes' birthday. Um, we always call it Cinco de Sadie. So there you go. Oh, all right. <laughs> Very good. Uh, news. Ooh. We have some news. Chicago Pen Show is today. It starts today. Uh, we are actually there. Yes. Right now. And you know the best you watch part? This. We don't have a table. We don't have to sit. I am Literally so excited. Walk in. We pay. That's it. I don't like We're that done. part. Well, <laughs> it's actually it's cheaper. It is it's cheaper, cheaper than, than buying it is five tables. Buying five tables, but um, we just walk in and, and boom, we're done. You were an attendee and a, a buyer last year, and nope. I was still at the Chicago <clears throat> store, so I couldn't go. I cannot remember the last time I was just an attendee at a show. I think it was 1998. I, uh, 1998? What show would that have been? Miami. Oh, 1998. Yeah, which was, coincidentally, I think, was the very first show that I went to. Also in Miami. Also in Miami. Yes. At the Biltmore. We didn't, we didn't know each other at the Biltmore, yeah. No, I was probably um, checking you out. I, re- <laughs> I remember exactly which pens I bought at that show. Um, I do, too. I got my Visconti Kaleido. 
Uh, in Burgundy? Yes. Yes, in Burgundy. Okay. Yes. That was, that With was that a good pouch, guess. I still have. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I remember the pouch. Uh, I got, uh, let's see, I got an Esterbrook, I think in green. I bought a mismatched Parker Jr. dual fold. Of course you uh, did. Well, I didn't know it at the time. Okay. Uh, you know, caveat emptor, right? Uh, streamlined barrel with the earlier flat top cap. And I got a regular full size gray striated Schaefer balance. Okay. With silver trim. So I have none of those pens anymore. <laughs> Pre COVID. Um, Chicago was the last show that we did together as a vendor. Was it Chicago? It was Chicago, okay. which was May of 2020. And then in June, I moved down to take okay. over the store. And so that was the last show we attended together. Well, we're going to go. We are going to go. It is this weekend, May 4th through Sunday, May 7th. Yes. Um, if you go down today, you do have to pay the um, the, the weekend fee. Otherwise, you can buy whatever day you're going. So you can buy just Friday, you can buy just Saturday, you can buy just Sunday. Um, pizza party tonight, Thursday. Mm -hmm. uh, and the auction, I believe, is tomorrow, Friday, Friday or Saturday. Uh, so there's there's lots of things going on. Um, Several classes, I'm sure. Yep. Um, we are excited to see. Uh, I'm especially excited to see a bunch of people I haven't seen in years. Long time. So um, that'll be fun. And uh, yeah. So, cool. And you are going to go do some buying and yeah, you're I'm not going gonna to see me. You, follow you're, around. And, I, yeah. So, I, I'm just going to make plan. I'm going to make a prediction on this. That I'm going to get trapped <laughs> by people. You're yeah. going to scan. You're going to set this up. It's already people set up. Are gonna, <laughs> people are going to come and distract me. And then you're going to sneak off and spend money. And then I'm going to find you and you're going to be like, oh, no. Honey, here's, here's my prediction because okay. this happens. <laughs> Every time in Chicago. If you hear screaming, it's me. You pay you pay at the front of the hotel and then you walk and then there's like a, 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 a like a kind of a sunken uh, foyer there. Right. And there's a security guard there. <gasps> it's the same guys that have been there yes. for ages. Yes. Lisa's going to say, oh, hi, how are you? I haven't seen you forever. Boom, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm going to feel so bad. <laughs> You'll I, never it's, see me. It's Scott and... The other guy, and I can't I remember know. his name. I don't know. They gave me their phone numbers last time for when I was going to go down to Chicago if we ever needed security okay. or whatever. Okay. But yeah, it's the same guys who've been doing this for decades. That's my prediction because I'm going to see something. <laughs> and I'll just meet you for pizza <laughs> Thursday night. It's not much of an anniversary date. Well, that, was, that was technically yesterday. Yes, yeah. yeah so. So. Um, and we did just celebrate our 13th wedding anniversary. Uh, it's probably the first time we haven't been at a show on the actual day. So, Or driving to or, or in yeah. serious prep mode yeah. because we got married at the Chicago Pen Show. And so it almost always is part of like a five-day yeah. time frame. So yeah. that was nice to just go and be a couple and have dinner. Yeah. That was, yeah. it was nice. All right. Other news. So if you're at the Chicago Pen Show, you can see us say hi. Stop and distract Lisa so yeah. Brian can yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking we, forward to seeing everybody. We have some other news. Um, I, I'll, uh, I, I, can talk, I can talk about this. So now uh, a new thing in Esterbrook land. Uh, Esterbrook Estes with gold trim. Uh, and this also goes for the Camden in Oktoberfest. Uh, and that is the only, uh, the Oktoberfest is the only Camden actually in a, in a resin, uh, not the earlier metal ones. Um, uh, earlier metal ones used a different nib. Right. Uh, but the Camden Oktoberfest in gold trim and Estes in gold trim are now available with 18 karat gold nib options via special order. So you can get an 18 karat extra fine, fine, medium, broad, or 1.1 stub. Uh, and those are available. Uh, if you're interested in those, um, you'll see on the website, get all the details, and uh, we'll get one for you. So Very cool. Um, they have been working on this for quite a long time. Yeah. Yeah. They, they had a little small rollout. I think when Nouveau Blue came out, they came out with some 18 karat nibs. Uh, but uh, now, it's, uh, now it's a regular item. Uh, and actually, uh, I don't have them up, but if you just want to buy the nib itself... 
uh, just contact us and we can sell that just the nib too. So if you've already got the pen and you want an 18 karat fine nib, um, I don't have them up yet, but just get in touch with us and we can uh, take care of that for you. Right. Uh, we also have news from Sailor. Uh, they have... Uh, this is unusual. Yes. This, this is, is very unusual. Very unusual. So the Sailor Line Friends yeah, fountain pens have a new MSRP. And the new um, MSRP is $320, which makes our allowed discounted price now 256 So the yellow Sally or the brown, um, the tan brown. Oh. Um, <laughs> the tan brown. The brown the brown. Tan I, I can see that coming. You're like the yellow Sally and the oh crap. It's the brown, brown. His name is Brown. Brown yeah. Brown. Yeah. Um, the previous MSRP was four hundred and fifty dollars, and our price that we were allowed to sell it as an authorized retailer was three hundred and sixty. So this is a big discount. It's a big discount. So yeah. if you are interested in these, now is the time to get it. Um, this is as low as it's going to be allowed to be sold. Yep. Uh, this is yep. a huge, huge discount. And, and these are these are Pro Gear Slims. Yes, fourteen karat size. gold nibs. Uh, and the, nib selection is, is is I won't say limited, but it's uh, I believe fine, medium, fine, medium, broad, um, whatever it is is. What? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever we have what is be, what we have. <laughs> what it is. Um, because know. these have a very um, distinctive engraving, these cannot be swapped out with anything yeah, else. So, so, so. Like, like Brown's got the little bear on the, yes. on the nib. Sally has a little, adorable. little duck face. Yeah, I like this um, one. This is cute. Well, could be yours for your it's, anniversary. It, 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 I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> I've already got my anniversary pen. I don't um, want to dip into that company this water. This is much. a huge discount. So if you've been considering it, now is the time yep. for sure. Yep. Uh, and this is exciting. Um, we are constantly updating our uh, grand reopening pen party info. So we are getting ready to put some info on the website in another probably next week. Probably. Yeah. After this weekend at the show. Um, with dates, times, everything that you need all in one place, including um, an ongoing, ever expanding. You like that? A uh, list of door prizes. And so it's going to be everything from a bottle of ink, a notebook, to uh, pens worth up to $1,000. It's, it's going to be a pretty good list. Pretty so, awesome pretty list. list. Um, yep. There are things that we will be providing from our store, from our stash, things that some of the attending vendors will provide. And we have reached out to a couple other other vendors who are not going to be there who are happy to contribute. So we're going to have some things from Retro 51, from Pelican, from Execlair. Um, so as we get confirmation on what we're receiving, um, we will put that up on the list. And our hope is to entice you to come because if you're within driving distance, absolutely. It'll, if you can win a thousand dollar pen, it'll be worth your make time. the drive. It'll be worth your time. So, absolutely. Um, yeah, we've got, we've got some cool things uh, lined up. Uh, we're going to also have some gifts with purchase too yes. uh, that we're working on, uh, and uh, I, I mean, we're going to be open on a Sunday. I know We've we're going to we're going to stay open. Ever been open on a Sunday? Not here in Appleton. Right. Ever? It's, it's I, the only time. <laughs> I'm just going to say that right. I'm not working every Sunday. No. But you know, we're going to be open. We'll list our, our hours. We're going to be open late on Friday. Yes. We're going to be open late on Saturday, and we'll nope. be open for. Sh Yes, we're going to be open late on Saturday. No. We're, we're having this discussion right now, <laughs> as a matter of fact. Um, but Okay, okay anyway. So anyway, but we'll be open extra hours um, so that if you're driving, you know, you know, you don't have to get here by 530. We'll right. We'll be open late. So. Uh, and Sunday will be 10 to 2. That's confirmed. Okay. <laughs> we can fight about Saturday. I don't, I don't know. Um, some of the vendors may not be there on Sunday, depending on what they have to do for travel schedule. Right. Uh, right. But Mike and Linda Kennedy from Independence will be there. Um, and I think I think if you want to get the most bang for your buck, try to be there on Friday, which is July twenty first. Correct. Uh, for sure, everybody's going to be there. Um, so yes, um, you know, of course. As their travel plans go out towards the, the end of the weekend, who right. knows? So, but and if you're thinking about coming, make your room reservation now. Make it the refundable option if you have to, in case you're not sure what's going to happen. 
But the week after the pen party is the big, giant annual event down in Oshkosh, the experimental... Aviation Association. Aviation EAA. EAA. Yeah, yeah, so. I didn't know what all the A's were. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, uh, I was surprised you even started in. I got experimental. <laughs> like, like, we just say EAA around here. Experimental, and there's an airplane or aircraft <laughs> or something. So EAA is down in um, Oshkosh the week after, and so the hotels are already filling up. Well, so if you're an aviation buff... Yeah, you know, stick around you, a little you longer. Stick around. So we uh, also will be putting something up on the website um, for those of you who have spouses or children. You might be dragging along. Uh, there will be for them, a list yeah. of other things to do that might help entice keep um, your spouse or children that might keep them happy, so you can shop longer. Yeah. So it'll be July. So uh, hopefully the weather, weather will be, will be nice. Good, yes. Um, so there'll be parks and all sorts of yes. good stuff. So. How does Darth Vader like his toast on the dark side? Today we are going to talk about the Pelican M205 Appetite. I really like this color. Well, you know, um, your anniversary was yesterday. It's a classic M205 uh, fountain pen. It's piston filling and it has a clear, deep teal barrel and cap with silver plated trim. Um, it's a mid-sized pen that is, um, I find it comfortable in the hand. It's similar to a uh, little bit though. bigger than the uh, P- Sailor Pro Gear Slim, but it's a piston. Yeah, it's, you know, what I like about the, the M200 is, and, and Pelican in general, is how well they actually post. Yes, it goes on quite deeply, um, which is great. It's not, you know, some, some pens you, you're like, well, it sort of posts. Or it's, you know, it posts a little bit, or it's a questionable post. This is a, it posts. Yes. It just, it slides on there. It's really great. And uh, this color is a special edition that was created to accompany the Pelican Edelstein Appetite Fountain Pen Ink, which is really a pretty color. So, yeah. Steel nib, and and, uh, as with all Pelicans, nib units are threaded. Yeah, I love that for cleaning. Just pull this guy out. Boom, you can... Get your syringe in there and flush it out if you need to. And don't forget that Pelican, as a German brand, does tend to run a little fat in the line width. Yeah. So, and we get a new special price on these too. So we do. It's a little bit, a little bit lower than what we've had before. Yes. So you'll see Now's that on the, the website. Time. It's a nice. It's a real pretty color. Really pretty color. Great. All right. What else we got? What else we got? Pinot Farina. Yes. Go ahead. Um. The Pinafrina PF2. These are funky. This is cool. It's an anodized aluminum body with an updated yet timeless design with flattened angled ends. So it's very, it's very, uh, very aerodynamic. Uh, Spring loaded clip is flat and lies flush with the pen body. Yes. uh, Inside a single groove that functions much like a roll stop. Um, I guess it's, it kind of sits proud a little bit at the end. Tiny bit. Um, it extends by pressing down on the finial, so you do that, just kind of, which is, and it goes up quite a bit too, it which does. is real nice. It does. Um, the cap has a magnetic closure. That's awesome. Uh, you do have to get it kind of lined up just right. Well, yeah, because it is, it's angled, so yes. it has to, you know, obviously it can't go on, you right. can't put it on wrong. It's got to go on the, the right way. Uh, number six, uh, steel Yovo nib, extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. Uh, glides smoothly across the page, of course. Comes in classic black or this, this blue is, really is pretty blue. It's really killer. Yeah. It matches my shirt. There you go. Um, and it comes with the package with the Schmidt Standard International Converter for use with bottled ink and international cartridge available in many colors. And it's fountain pen, rollerball, and my personal favorite and the only reason I literally bought these pens this is, is cool. the ballpoint. And I know you're thinking, what? Well, Brian Anderson talking about a ballpoint? It's a cool ballpoint. I mean, so check this out. So what most the of the time. What is that? <laughs> so, you know, and th- th- this is the twist activated. But This is fun. But what's cool about this, unlike other pens where when you t- activate the refill and the refill comes out, the whole bottom end, including the nose cone, comes out. That's cool. And so it's it, it seats deep Pretty inside deep, yeah. in the uh, in this part of the cone. That is fun. So it's just a neat, a neat ballpoint. Really great design. And a nice, a nice solid stop. And so, so what's the what's the deal with Pin and Farina? Every time I would talk about this in Chicago, I'm like, I'm gonna get this wrong, but it's there's some car association. 
Pininfarina designs. I don't know. Like you might have heard of this one car called the Ferrari. Yes. Okay. Um, it comes in a cool. Uh, it comes in a cool aluminum case, which is kind of neat. Pull it out, and then yeah, it just cool. it just kind of pops in. It's foam down. lined inside. Foam lined. Yep. Yep. So it's a neat pen. It's it's uh, it's got some weight to it, um, and it does post. It's really in person. The design is just really cool. When you unscrew it. Like the whole thing turns around, so it, it just yeah, looks really, yeah. really fun. Yeah, so All it's right. a, it's a cool pen. Great. So, All right. So, Pin and Farina designs race cars for. They for design cars. bodies, styles. Okay. Yeah. See, there's some car thing. There's some car thing. <laughs> All right. Did you know R two D two loves to curse? They have to bleep out all of his words. Uh, we had a contest last week? We did. And the question was, are you going to the Chicago Pen Show this weekend or are you going to any other pen show this year? Um, many shows were mentioned in the comments. Uh, the New Pacific Northwest, Philly, San Francisco, Detroit, D.C., Columbus, Boston, Toronto, Baltimore, Colorado, wow. and the Commonwealth Pen Show. Isn't that Boston? Yeah, I, was Boston. I thought it was yeah. Boston, yeah. Um, so almost all of them. Marilyn Gardner says, even though I'm an avid pen collector, I have not yet been to a pen show. It's mm. probably safer that way. I don't trust myself to stick to a budget. <laughs> I get that. I do hope to get to the St. Louis pen show someday soon. I do hope to attend the Anderson Pens pen party. Awesome. And that may be the closest I get to a pen show this year. It's going to be massive. It's going to be it's gonna pretty be fun. killer. Be fun. Um, Charles, by the way, it's not going to be that bad. Come on up. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> uh, James Mad Chemiker says no to the Chicago Pen Show, but I absolutely plan on attending the Pen Party. Great! Cool. Uh, I can't wait to see the complete space and meet some of the vendors. Yeah, and that, that, that's a, a good thing there, um, especially if you have pens by some of the vendors. If you have any questions whatsoever, yes. uh, make sure to bring your pens and you know and and, and write your questions down because. Yes. Once you, you may get think there, you remember it, right. but you might, for, you might forget. And it's a great way, it's a great ex experience to talk to the, the sales reps, um, many of whom are the bigger higher-ups in a company, and they can give you a lot more really good information. Yeah, they they kind of they know what they're talking about. Yeah, yeah these, aren't, these aren't like some... bring a lot of, it's not the junior. It's not the junior yeah. guys. Yeah. Um, they often bring things that we don't always stock, Um Limited edition. Often they do stay <laughs> anyway. afterwards, but all right. Uh, Harold says, um, hi, Brian and Lisa. Looks like the new digs are shaping up nicely. I will have to plan a future trip to the Chicago or Philly Pen Show. Uh, they sound like fun. Have fun at the Chicago Pen Show and come back and tell us about it. We will. We will. We have a winner? Yes. Go ahead. Richard Smith. Congratulations. Uh, and uh, Richard says, no on the Chicago show, but I'm glad but glad to hear you will be at the St. Louis show. Yes. Met you both there and bought my first gold nib pen from Brian. Cool. Will you have a table or just attendees? Looking forward to hopefully seeing both of you there. Um, no to the table. Correct. We will be attendees. Uh, and in St. Louis, yes. um, Saturday and Sunday at the St. Louis show. Uh, I don't know what the times are yet. I think they're in the morning, uh, before noon anyway. Uh, I will be giving a seminar. Yes. Uh, so both days on uh, pen buying for newbies, vintage pen buying for newbies. So if you're interested in that, uh, put it, and you're going to the St. Louis show, put it on your uh, agenda and uh, sign up for it. There's no, yes. no charge for it, of course. Uh, it's an hour, I think it's an hour and a half, actually. We've got slack. Wow. We get time for questions. Okay. So wow. I was like, okay, well, an hour is good. And right. then and, and says, and well, says, well, well, you know, we got to give you a bigger half, slack. So, um, um, well, she bribed you with birthday cake. She did. Yeah, it's it's. You, I don't even know if, if it's my birthday that weekend or not. I think it's. I think it's the week before. Week before but, or something. But but uh, yeah, um, Brian's being bribed by birthday cake. Uh, food. Yeah. I think so. it was the first year we went. You ended up with two birthday cakes. Uh, we one did. One from Anne and, and then one from David. David Oscarson made me a cake, and then yes. so we we took them back to the room, and it was ridiculous because we had to go, and we had no way to transport these cakes. We we were and, leaving them out like in the lunchroom, and and at our 
our table, like, here, you want a piece of cake? And everybody's we, like, no, we, we no, took no, like, to, We took please. them to the bar and, like, we were, we were hanging out with uh, with our friends, the luxury, Bilers and, and, and a couple of luxury brands. brands. And everybody's like, no, we ate. Like, <laughs> no, really, we got two cakes. freaking cake. Yeah. So, anyway, congratulations, Richard. Um, hope to see you in St. Louis. Uh, write to Eric at AndersonPens.com, and he'll take care of getting your uh, your, your winnings on your, your AP account. Great. Uh, additional comments. Amy Mills, this one's for you. After mm. last week's question, I was a bit nervous to replace the sack in my Estherbrook J, but I had already ordered the supplies from you, so easy to use, and they came super fast. Awesome. Right. So I mustered up my courage and went for it. It went smoothly, and the pen writes great awesome. now. Great. That's the beauty of a vintage Estherbrook. Place the sack, maybe the J-bar, and worst case scenario, a new nib, and you are good to go for 50 more years. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're pretty easy. So uh, Paul Herman says, great podcast, Brian and Lisa. Always enjoyable and informative. Happy pampered little dog day. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. And Paul, Paul gives us a joke. What kind of dog loves to take bubble baths? I don't know. A shampoodle. Oh, my God. Nice. <laughs> uh, Francis Cool Lopez 123 says, Excited to see you all back at shows. This will be my sixth show of the year. Holy cow. Oh, good. Um, well, a lot of them are East Coast. Yes. Early in the year. So yes. I'm guessing I'm guessing he's an East Coast. Probably. East Coaster, yeah. Um, or has a lot of airline miles. Airline miles, yeah. Uh, Wayne says, um, I'm looking forward to visiting the new store, hopefully this summer. The timing right. of the Chicago Pen Show isn't ideal for me, but I hope to convince a friend to go with me to the St. Louis show. Great. St. Louis is really well organized. We haven't been in, in a number of years, so I, I, yeah. I suspect it's going to be pretty amazing. Yeah. Because uh, it's a different hotel than when we went. And I think, oh. it's, I think it's in one ballroom now? I don't maybe? know. I don't know. We'll but I know out. it's a different different hotel. So, uh, Amy Brazelton says, I will not be able to go to the Chicago Pen Show. However, I will be attending the Pacific Northwest Pen Show. It will be my first Pen Show I've ever attended. So excited to have a Pen Show in the Pacific Northwest. Yes. And for those of you who are scratching your heads going, wait, I don't know about that one. Um, there used to be a Portland Pen Show a couple decades ago. And um, it was... <laughs> a couple decades ago. It was. Yeah, believe it, was. it or not. Yeah, it was... 20 years ago, I guess now, um, run by Carla Mortensen and a couple mm -hmm. other people. And um, when it was a great show for many years, and um, Carla moved. And so there is a group of um, Portlanders who are getting it back together. Portlanders? I don't know what you call do, them. Do they have Port swords and things? <laughs> well, that's Portland people. <laughs> um, I know that they have been working on this for the last year. Um, because they've reached out several times. Okay. And so they're they're super excited about this. So if you are anywhere near Portland, uh, Oregon, you want to go. So okay. um, that's sometime in July, I believe. Okay. Uh, Steve Ruckel says, I would love to go to D.C. show because I live in Virginia. Yeah, you kind of need to get there. Yeah. But I'm afraid that if I went to a pen show, I would melt two credit cards with purchases. <laughs> There's always a pen that is calling my name. Help me. Best advice is don't take, bring them. Is don't, bring, don't bring credit cards. Take Bring cash. Set your budget, write your list of what you're looking for, and then, of course, you have to correspond to the, the budget with that. Now, right. like if you're looking to buy a 823, don't bring 100 bucks. Right. But uh, get your list of what you're interested in, set a budget, and then when you're done, you're done. Bring a list of things that you own. Bring a list of the inks that you own. Bring a list of the notebooks that you have. Um, things like that, because you'll get to the show and you will forget. occasionally buy what you already have. It's like, did I love that color or did I want that color? That what, you may know. or may not have happened with any numerous number of pens for me. Yes. So, uh, we got a new contest. Oh. Survey. Awesome. How many fountain pens do you have within arm's reach right now? Inked or not inked, doesn't matter. Five. <laughs> what, about, what about all these in the case? Uh, oh. So uh, let us let us know in the comment section. Um, I I actually was at my desk and at home or here here because here that's two here different store. very different numbers. Um, it is incredibly two different numbers. I'll try to I'll try to remember to because Eric says if I don't put it in the comments it doesn't count. So uh, today I checked on my desk. I have three pens here here where Four. you have at home more forty three. <laughs>
the Penlux Masterpiece Grande Delgado Peacock. Great. Um, across time and space, peacocks have captivated us, becoming symbols of royalty and finding their way into ancient mythology. Their iridescent majesty has been captured by artists over centuries and inspired the newest Penlux Masterpiece Delgado, the Peacock. This um, has a marbling of colors from orange, warm orange to eye-catching turquoise. Um, there's brown and amber. It's really, really pretty. Complemented by the signature Penlux rolling clip, cap ring, and nib with satin gold plating. They are all made with the same color palette, but each one is different. Yeah, they're um, good. It's a good looking pattern. It is. Really, it really is. is. Uh, they use the uh, German Yovo number no. six satin gold plated stainless steel nib, and they are available in fine, medium, broad, and a one point one stub. So, it's a uh, it's a Delgado, not a masterpiece grande. So it's yes, the thinner. It, it's the it's thinner. It's the smaller. The, the, yes. the thinner model. Uh, piston filling, um, and they're also uh, will be available, yes, in the 14 karat flex and the 18 karat gold nibs. Um, much like the Esterbrooks will be available special order, but we can get them for you. Yes. Um, this looks really pretty. It's a, it's it's going to be a winner. I Penlux think does really great work with the, the swirling colors, and they just work really well together. So. I think they've been knocking it out of the park on the, the Delgados. The, the Grandes are great. It, it, every every color is better than the last, I think. But for whatever reason, I think the Delgados have a, just a better color palette. Yes. Um, lately. Than, than the Grandes. And then these. Uh, coming soon. Uh, so, for those of you who uh, like the Italian pens, Maiora Aventus, which we have a, a good assortment of, uh, there are three new colors coming. The Amore. Which with is the, the red. Which is the red with the Ruthenium trim. Cool. I don't even know how to pronounce the next two. Tenerife. Tenerife. Uh, my apologies to Myora and Sinus. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the Myora Ventus fountain pen it features a glossy resin body and cap uh, accented by a beautifully engraved cap ring, gold plated trim. Uh, it uses a standard gold plated number six Yovo nib. It, fell, it fills via the special Myora threaded converter that can be accessed either by unscrewing the barrel like this you normally cool. would, or you can just unscrew the blind cap and the uh, converter has an extended metal section on it. And you can just take the blind cap off and fill the converter that way. Uh, also uses short international cartridges. Um, and uh, each pen is individually numbered. So if for those of you that remember Delta, when Delta mm -hmm. was originally here, and of course Delta's back now. Uh, the Myora Pen Company makes all their pens made by hand in Naples and is managed by Nino, Nino Marino, who is a former co-founder and president of Delta. Uh, and so the reason I, I say that as far as the individually numbered is all Deltas were always individually right. numbered. Um, so and some of the Mayoras definitely make you think, oh, is that a Delta or is yeah, that? Yeah, is they're, that? They're, they're, they definitely they're, look at The similarity is, is absolutely yes. there. The number, however, does not indicate a limited edition of any kind. Right. Delta's pens were always numbered. Um, so, uh, they also produce, Myra also produced pens under the Natuno brand mm -hmm. as well. So, uh, these are coming in. The, the Tenerife uh, is a really vibrant yellow. Um, oh, this is great. Yellow. Bright, bright, bright yellow. Yeah. Uh, and then the Sinus is really a, quite an attractive blue marbled with rose gold trim. Uh, it's really, really pretty, pretty stunning uh, looking pen. So I'm excited for those to come in. Those are coming very soon. Probably be here next week. Probably be here next week. So awesome. Um, Watch super, all this super stuff excited. Come in while we're recovering from the pen. It show. probably will. Yeah. So cool. But uh, I think that's it. You got anything else you want to say? No. That you. <laughs> <laughs> Not until you start talking again, and I'll think about one more thing. Um. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Check us out on social media as Anderson Pens, and please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Uh, and the pen in my pocket today is kind of is kind of a cheat because, uh, well, this is this is my anniversary pen. I, I made the decision oh, last. Wait, cheat and anniversary? Well, no, 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 no. No, see, uh, <laughs> backtrack though. I got to backtrack. See, because I've had this in my pocket on the podcast before. But last week we mentioned there were like three pens that I was trying to decide between. And so uh, the, the ST DuPont uh, Line D Large in the Gold Dust 
uh, I, I, I had to have it. So I inked it up and it's pretty, pretty darn spectacular. I love it. I was going to say pretty. It's really gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Yeah. Because it's subtle. It's not yeah. super glittery that you can see yeah. across the room. Yeah. I mean, you notice, you notice the gold. The gold is really, is, yeah, is really vibrant. But, um, nice. But so anyway, that's what it is. So. Okay. What did I get? What? <laughs> Can you cut that? <laughs> cut that if you want. <laughs> Somebody's going to ask. Somebody's going to ask. Everybody All always right. asks, well, what did Lisa get? Well, um, I got a new pen case a new and pen I got case. a bunch of things for the house. Since I have come mm -hmm. back, our son just moved out. Yeah. And so um, I really wanted several things for the house. Because I've had people come up at shows and say, well, what did you get? And I'm like, mm -hmm. well, you know, Great. there you go. We're done. <laughs> All right.